Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 13th question from Lead Code SQL for interview questions. This is the first medium level interview questions in, in 50, interview, uh, 50 interview questions. Um, but if you visualize it, um, if you visualize this question properly, so you it, it is very easy if you visualize it correctly. Uh, however, uh, in Lead Code they marked as a, a medium because it is medium if you don't visualize it properly. So, what the object is given a table called employee, uh, we have to find out the managers who has at least five direct reportees, they are reporting to them. Uh, for example, uh, if you see right, basically what they are asking is to find out the name uh, who has a five direct reports, minimum five direct reports, it can be greater than that. So, at least minimum five reportees reporting to them. We have to identify the names of the managers who have at least five reportees reporting to them. That's a task. Um, how do I how do I calculate? Uh, so it is simple. So what I do is I'll create two tables. It's a it's a, a information about employees also uh, here in the same table and also information about manager is also in the same table. What I mean by that is if you see ID one zero one. Uh, whose name is John and then department A and he has no direct report maybe he is like a imagine he is a CEO of the company who which is the highest level of designation there is no one he is reporting to he but he has a people reporting under him. Um, 102 uh, Dan he reports to John and James reports to John and so on and so forth. So all these users they report to John. So, what we have to do is we have to find out uh, there can be many more and there can be many more in the test case, but for in this example it is showing as a John. So, all you have to find out the write a solution or to find the manager's name who has at least 5 direct reports. So, here if you see uh, this manager 101 John has these many reports at least 5 say they are saying we have 6 here, but at least they are saying 5 to four sorry five only yeah so this should come five or greater than five how do I how do I do that uh, it is it is simple so what I'll do is I'll, I'll create two tables one table table e1 this is e1 and I have another table e2 okay I'll basically do a self join so this this problem comes under a self join where I clone the same table uh, what I do is from this table e2 table I take I do a group by and count group by and count which will give me uh, on this manager IDs I will just say for each manager how many counts he is getting it is getting repeated. So, those whoever people whichever the people they are reporting to that, that comes the whatever the count it is there it will come to corresponding corresponding for example, let us say if this had an example I am just giving an example um, let us say this had 108 and 108. So, in this case what I do is basically I, I do a group by on this manager id. So, I will say manager id, uh, manager id let us say I just want to do count what I do is I report, report is or whatever it is. So, manager id 101. So, from this database from this database I am just giving but we need a minimum more than 5 minimum 4 or more than more than that. So, here what I will do is how many times it has repeated 1, 2, 3, 3 I will give 3 uh, output is will be 3 and for 108 I will get output as 2. So, basically for, from this table I do a group by on this manager id count how many times they are their manager id. So, basically it will give me this information like this. Now, when I have information like this what I will do is I have manager id and the corresponding count all I have to do is join this information with this table, this information with this table um, that is where I get a name. So, for 101 I have a name, name called John I print that John. So, maybe 108 maybe some other name uh, with 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 uh, with direct report is as, as this is there right 108 which has a, some other name who may be reporting to who may be reporting to directly to John or maybe someone else. So, uh, the basic objective here is to join these two tables, table E1, table E2 from this 
from this table you get uh, employee uh, manager id and its corresponding count and join this back to uh, employee one table to get the name so let's do this i'll i'll first of all calculate i'll just first of all before i joining i what i'll do is i'll just select a manager id manager id and count star as direct report is okay um i'll follow the coding guidelines from from this employee table group by group by manager id so this will give me count for each of each of the managers which are there in the table all right so for manager id null obviously this is null so we got one because there is one record and 101 we got five so 101 we got five and what they are asking us is direct at least direct uh, five reports having count star greater than or equal to 5 this will remove any any anything which which are uh, less than 5 right so this i got it now what i do is i i'll call this table as e2 i'll call this table as e2 which will give me which is giving me information on on employee and their corresponding uh, manager and their corresponding direct report count so all i have to do is now select select i have to get the name right so name is in uh, again this is the same table we are talking about we are not talking about the new table so i'll i'll just do as maybe i'll i'll give this as a e1 e1 dot name from employee same table alias as e1 now i'll just have to join join this table with this table on i just have to follow the coding guidelines so this is this is what it is now on on what i have to do now this is this is very important point now i have e1 here e1 dot id e1 i have id equal to from here manager id e2 equal to manager because i grouped based on manager id right? that is what we need that's all i think this is what let's let's run it and test it yeah this is accepted let's submit All right looks like it's accepted yeah it's accepted so again as mentioned so here the core fundamental if you understand the core fundamentals of self join if you visualize it properly then you should be able to solve this there are many ways this can be solved but one of the ways which uh, which i know i i explained to you so let me know what other ways you know or maybe you can research there are many other ways you can do this coding let me know in the comment section whichever the solution you feel is, is comfort and relevant to uh, you. Okay, thank you very much for joining. See you in the next video.